Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kevin T. Robertson Show. Today's show is entitled, Five Keys to Staying Focused on Your Goals and Dreams. Coming up, we've got interviews with Larry the Cable Guy, Dan Rather, Carol Ross Joint, MC Light, and Russell Simmons. Keep it locked right here, ladies and gentlemen. It all goes down big right here on the Kevin T. Robinson Show, where we're bringing the world into focus. Five keys to focus very quickly are, number one, the F stands for foresight. Foresight, that is your ability to see into the future. Recently, I had a candid interview with comedian Larry the Cable Guy. He talked about seeing into the future and where he was going to be in his outstanding career. Appreciate that. With the Blue Collar comedy tour success the multi-platinum albums we got the tv show now we've had all uh we've had uh we got cars one we got cars two with all of that success how much focus have you had in your career to achieve all of what you've achieved well you know. so i set my goals stuff that i could achieve right. you know and honest to god uh i never ever thought i'd do movies I never ever thought I'd write a book. I never ever thought I'd do a TV show. Everything that has happened to me is icing on the cake for wow. me. Because my main- The O is for optical. Optical is some type of design device to aid you in sight. I had the experience of a lifetime interviewing news legend Dan Rather as he talked about what it took for him to stay focused on his goals and dreams and the navigational star. How much focus have you had in your career to achieve your success? Well, focus has been one of the keys, to be quite honest with you. I'm lucky. I dreamed as a child of being a reporter. I didn't think about television. And that's always been my abiding dream. It's I got to adolescence, young adulthood, and adulthood. I think of it as a navigational star. I keep my eye on that star, so sort of focused on that star. And any time that I begin doing something kind of bearing from that, I think about my navigational star. The other thing is very early in my career, when I would say 18 to about 24, I used to carry in my pocket just a card and it had written on it, is what you're doing now helping you to achieve your dream? Wow. Just a motivational thing for me. It's a great affirmation. So, you know, I have it in my pocket and mm -hmm. once in a while I pull it out and I'd say, you know, this is not helping me achieve my dream. Wow. So I'd get on something else. So it's that focus. Okay. The C, everybody, is for cataract. Yes, I said cataract. Cataract is a gray or opaque area that causes partial or total blindness. You cannot have anything standing in the way of your team goals. Recently, I sat down with Emmy Award-winning producer Carol Ross Joint, and she talked about overcoming her obstacles, blocking out distractions, and staying focused on her dream. Larry King at Larry King Live, and that's what I was doing when my husband died suddenly from pneumonia and I inherited his business and what Innocent Spouse is about okay. is um, a $3 million tax fraud case that I didn't know about wow. and that I had nothing to do with mm -hmm. but landed on me because I was in my husband's will and on the tax return. Wow. So this story begins with Howard's death mm -hmm. and ends about 12 years later when I was finally able to get free of his bankrupt business. And U is for me. utopia. The U is for utopia. Utopia means a perfect world or some type of social order. I recently talked to MC Light in Baltimore and she talked about diversifying in her career. So when one door closes, another one opens. It's all about flowing like water. You know what I'm saying? It's flowing, Some, something try to stop you right there, you just creep up from another way. And last but not least, the S is for scope. Scope is the area that the mind can cover. I recently interviewed Russell Simmons in Washington, D.C. Listen to these words of wisdom. It's, you know, it's sometimes you find passion and that's instant focus. Sometimes you have to make yourself focus. If you find something you love or if you are smart enough to recognize that you should love everything as you go to work on it, you know, uh, then it, it's inspiring, you know, and it makes you, you know, attract things and, and the success just comes as a result of you doing the work. And I think that's something that people, they lose the sight of, of the work itself and they think about the results too much. So I've had a, a lot of, of good fortune in that I've found love and appreciation for what it was I was doing. And other times I had to put my head down, you know, and, and make a little effort. Yeah, but sacrifice. Yeah, it was never really a sacrifice, but just make an effort to, to really, um, you know, appreciate what's in front of you. And I think that's what everyone sometimes uh, needs to hear. 
I wish we had more time on today's show. However, if you need to get more information, please log on to www.thekevintrobertsonshow.tv. That concludes today's episode. We appreciate you tuning in. We only do big things, baby, right here on the Kevin T. Robinson Show, where we're bringing the world in the focus. I said I rock on the mic, I'm most definitely in the view celebrities from Cali to D.C. I'm focusing, you know what I'm in the place to be.